Previously, Liger bought tons of unusuals but all of the sudden Gladiator got hacked so there is no more by orders but he decided to continue the series and not run like a bitch. Even though I decided to step it up and take one of the hardest trading challenges I possibly ever faced. Liger also is a fast learner. Anyone who teaches him anything doesn't face any problems at all. It's under the the name of the hat. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Small profits were made. Liger was planning to sell for more, but since the bots shut down, he is selling for any profit he can get, hoping to get back the keys he started with. Okay, and we got the keys at least. A whole key profit, dude. Let's fucking go. Liger got trade banned, but don't worry, he is unbanned now. In this trade, I'm selling my soldier in usual, which I had to get it with a mixed offer for my old Hawaiian in usual plus one key. Uh, my mixed offer totaling for 13 keys on this in usual, and I'm selling it for 13 and a half, so that's a half key profit. For now, I'm taking this little profit because the bots shut down. So yeah, I'm trying to make the keys back, that way I can look for better in usuals than the ones I have right now. We got our items, dude starting to get all of those keys back so yeah now i have almost 76 keys back with a bunch of unusuals that i got to resell as well welcome everyone to how to make profit with dala let me explain why i do this before i even start okay. i want to explain this just because of the new traders that can understand a little bit the feeling of how to trade right I i've traded for about one and a half months so this is about almost two months ago, not even two. I started at 50 keys and a 16 key unusual. So I started at 66 keys, right? All right. And now I'm at 450 in not even two months, you understand? Mm -hmm. Let's start with that. So what I'm going to do now is show you some trades I made. This just says yesterday, right? Okay. So let's start with this. I'm going to start with this hat right here. I bought this sheet. That's one thing you got to think about. Most hats I make profit. This just makes sense. You buy it for near uh, buy orders, right? Yep. This hat right here, I bought for 40 keys. So I bought this for uh, the buy orders at 38. Bought it for 40. Uh, I was going to sell for around 50 keys. Yep. But since there was one seller that ruined it, which means I sold it for about 42. So I only made two keys profit here. But the thing with when you buy these hats right here, you got to understand that most people will not pay full pure for this. Okay. Maybe if they're new players. But what I did, I, I got an unusual Hawaiian Hunter. They're selling at seven keys right here, yeah. seven keys. And the highest sell order is at 10.5. Right. And what I did, since this is the only seller on non-strange, he could have listed this for way more if you want, but this is a yeah. bot, right? Yeah. So the sell orders are pretty similar if you compare 10 to seven. It's three yeah. keys in yeah. difference. But I, what, I'm, what I managed to do, since I had um, this one listed at 20, yep. I said, I can do a little bit less. So what I did was, I sold this at eight keys, right? I sold this at eight keys. Right. And then I said, okay, eight keys and I want, I said, I can do three keys under what I'm trying to sell it for. So I basically sold this for eight plus nine, eight plus nine is 17. Damn. So I sold this for 17 keys, which means that's a six key profit, easy. So you bought an usual that has a bad margin for your unusual yeah that has a good the margin. Okay, so the margin of this hat is terrible so you can say i was really lucky of selling this let me uh, let me ask you this even yeah, yeah, if you right, were to right. sell it into buy orders you would profit right yes yes okay okay so even if i sold this for buy or, I, I was gonna do it at first because if you see here if this is at seven yeah. and i list something at eight yeah then the other person needs to get around nine Right. And if someone buys it for 9, they're going to release it for 10, but then there's no margin to profit because at all. Of that so order. when I sold it for 8, I was really lucky. But even yeah. if I didn't, I would have profited uh, 6 keys. So, right. yeah. Like y'all in the stream, bro. Uh, keep it up, you know. Thank if you, you're, Thank uh, you for being here. Thank you for the advice. If you're trading, advices. you know, keep it up. You can do it. Feel me? Yeah. Hey, have a good one, Ligger. So, after these advices from Dala and knowing that, the only way I could probably sell my unusual would be by trading them for other unusuals that have better margins than mine because most of my unusuals got affected by the gladiator.tf shutdown most of the buy orders are gone and now i'm left with unusuals with such a bad buy orders and bad margins by knowing that i went ahead and tried to do mix offers for other unusuals um so 
In this trade, I'm playing my Terror Watts Scout Unusual plus 3 keys for this unusual. If we were to look into buy orders, my unusual has buy orders at 15.7 keys and no sellers in backpack.tf. The only seller is on marketplace.tf. It's Eric besides me. And if we were to look into his unusual, it's 17 keys. So I'm doing 15 keys plus 3 keys, right? That's 18.7 keys. You might be wondering why am I overpaying like buy a key above buy orders? Um, the reason is, if we were to look into STN, STN is paying almost 20 keys for his unusual. Um, so I initially bought my hat for 16 and a half keys, right? Plus three keys, that's 19 and a half. I'm gonna steal profit if I sell directly to STN. Um, that's the reason I'm doing this trade. But I'm gonna look into trading servers and try to get more keys. Bro, this effect is not bad at all, what the fuck? What the fuck is this? <laughs> you, you will send me one key. Otherwise, we will copy your account with bots and names and channel chat spam. Contact me. What? I, I think you saw it in server. They banned it, but I have more. And I'm gonna donate you. I'm not accepting anything. If I accept anything, he's gonna like link that account to mine. So, no. Thank you. If we go in here, can I zoom in? Wait. Yeah, I can. Look at this. You will too be dead, Liger, Gladiator TF. Like what? I'm still watching you? Who has the time for this shit? And he's level 10. Who has the time for for this shit, dude? What the fuck? Wait, this looks bad on paper. Seven keys, plus one key, it's eight keys. It's even less than this. I could do two keys extra. So I bought this one for uh, eight plus two keys, that's ten. I could resell instantly to SCM for 10.5. And is that yes? To the offer. I agree. One sec. Oh my god, Dala. <laughs> That's gonna make the best fucking video. This was a huge potential profit. And probably was the best way to get rid of my sniper unusual, which was so hard to sell because of a sell order that popped at 10 keys. But little did I know that guy was serious about spamming me. He was not even just spamming was actually trying to scam the people I trade with and therefore this guy declined the deal because he thought I tried to scam him Did he try to scam me? Oh. What the fuck? They explain Oh my god dude The Oh my god The, the person Oh my god dude The other guy I should never trade on stream The other guy that's impersonating me He's watching the stream still, and he sent he sent him a false trade offer. What does that guy have to do with me, dude? Oh my god, I'm living in his head, rent free. He wants that kid so bad, yeah, you know? What the fuck? I came in to think of quitting trading. I bought all of the unusuals, Gladiator to TF1 down at the worst possible timing for me. All of my unusuals are hard to sell, just like that. And now this guy is trying to run every trade I am trying to make, not receiving any trade offers in trading servers, sitting for hours just so people can try and personate me and publish a bad name of me. Um, yeah, but you know what? I sat down for a minute and I thought in the previous episode, I said that I'm gonna continue and make profits no matter what. I'm gonna prove to you guys that everyone, every one of you can make profit out of this. And on this trade boys, I'm selling my Miami Nights unusual for 11 and a half keys. I bought this unusual for uh, 11 keys. Um, that's a half key profit. 
lots of half key profits this episode and that's because the bots just crashed that's why i'm taking any profit i can get and look at that boys my trade offer got accepted selling this unusual at 21 and a half keys which is one key profit the reason that this trade is one key profit is because i initially got this unusual for selling my trilby unusual plus three keys um, i got this unusual for 16 and a half keys plus three keys that's 19 and a half and now i sold it for 21 and a half keys so yeah that's one key profit right there now i'm back at 100 and four keys and about a half key in this refined metals top slit he gave me this cosmetic for the giveaways i appreciate that dude very generous um thank you so much masaras i'm taking your money scammed stop trading and just make giveaways exactly dude trying to get 200 keys just from giveaways imagine yo lime scout thank you so much that's at least 40 refines. I mean, it's around 35 refines. And I just got an interesting trade offer from Neymar who's donating a key for the giveaways. Now, once you get into a giveaway, you have a chance to win two keys or two of the ticket or any of these cosmetics or refines really. So if you are interested in getting to these giveaways, head over to this video description and join my Discord server because I'm hosting the giveaways in there. For further educational and fun videos about trading, make sure to check other videos on my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and peace.